Hello everyone. Today in this lecture, we are going to discuss few points regarding the milk product. Okay. See, first of all, let me tell you one thing that there is nothing more important in this lecture. Okay. Because in the milk product, there are no many, not so many questions that are being asked in the examinations, but also let's see once in a brief regarding the milk and milk product. Okay. Uh, first thing, the, uh, different milk product like uh, Butter, ghee, cheese, paneer, ice cream, curd, yogurt, khoa. We are not going to see the how the process. Miss, I I'll give you the notes. I I'll give you the PDF. You can re read once, but I'm not going to discuss here about in the process because regard from that, nothing questions is being asked in the examinations. Okay, just I'll ex I'm going to explain you which is condensed product, which is a frozen product, and uh, which is a heat dissociated product. All these things I'm going to tell you, and regarding the composition of various product. Okay, and after that you can go through the PDF, and then if you, you find anything that is important, you can read, read in the PDF. Okay, now let's start the lecture. Condensed milk and evaporated milk. Okay, so first we are talk, going to talk about sweetened condensed milk. What what is sweetened condensed milk? This is a product obtained from the uh, milk of buffalo or cow, or um, by Removing of water means partial removal of water. Okay, in, in, in partial removal of water, uh, it, but it should not contain less than nine percent of milk fat or not less than thirty-one percent of total solid and not less than forty percent of cane sugar. Okay, same is in the case of evaporated milk also. That also there is partial removal of water, but in that it should not contain less than eight percent of milk fat and not less than twenty-five percent of the milk solid. Okay, now next is this classification whole milk. See, from whole milk, what we, we can make, we can make the condensed uh, concentrated product like here, basundi, separated and uh, rich product like uh, fat rich product like cream, butter, ghee, fermented product, dahi, ch uh, ch um, sri, uh, sri lassi, heat dissociated product, koa, pera, gulab jamun, coagulated product, chana, chena, and paneer. Frozen product, ice cream, and kulfi. Just you have to just keep in mind uh, simply that uh, uh, which product, uh, which one is for ferment, uh, fermented product, which one is heat dissociated pro product. All these things you just uh, simply keep in mind. Okay. Now let's see about uh, uh, this process of manufacture of condensed milk. First, we receive the milk. After that, in last lecture, we discussed about the filtration and clarification. After the standardization, then we do free heating, then addition of sugar, condensing, homogenization, cooling and crystallization, packaging, and storage at 10 degrees Celsius. This is all you can see once. See, this is the flow chart of the manufacture of evaporated milk. Okay. First, there is the receiving of milk. After that, Filtration and clarification, then standardization, again uh, preheating, then uh, after that you can see uh, preheating, evaporation, homogenization, then cooling, then sterilization, test, packaging, cool, then again cooling, then storage. Okay. Fermented product in that uh, fermented product is those milk product which have been made by uh, uh, take, uh, taking account into the use of microorganism. Uh, so to develop some flavor or texture in that, okay, and like dahi, dahi is product that is uh, obtained from pasteurized or boiled milk by uh, by incorporated by putting into them like harmless lactic acid or other bacterial culture, okay. After that, if you uh, talk about, uh, see, this is the process in which uh, of uh, uh, the dahi formation see we have received the milk after that we have done the preheating then filtration and clarification then standardization again preheating homogenization pasteurization again cooling then inoculation of starter culture we give only at the rate one to two percent again that is left for 12 to six hours then the dahi is obtained these are the classification of dahi usage of dahi like a skim milk dahi that is used for the third patient Okay. Then Chaka and Srikhand. This is a semi soft sweet, uh, sweet, sweetest sour whole milk product obtained from the lactic acid. But means a lactic fermented curd. Okay. After that, what happened? That, uh, that curd is partially strained through a cloth to remove the whey. And th after that, the solid mass that is produced, that is known as Chaka. Okay. Th this may be mixed with the quantity of sugar to give Srikhand. Okay, 
Now you can see composition of this. It contains 59.6% of moisture, 22.4% of fat, 10.3% of protein, 4.4% of lactose, 1% as, okay, and 2.3% lactic acid. Just remember the percentage of lactic acid. I already told you, I'm not going to discuss about the method of preparation. You can read through this, okay. After that, when you talk about, let's see, this is, uh, you also call it a charge or metal, let's see, means it, it refers to the, uh, means uh, butter milk, desi butter milk, which is uh, actually the byproduct of when a whole milk, or means curled, uh, curled milk is, uh, when churning of curled milk is done, uh, with the indigenous devices, then you, the byproduct that we obtain that is lassi. What is the composition of lassi? Uh, it contains 96.2% of water, total solid 3.8%, SNF 3%, protein 1.3%, lactose 1.2%, adds 0.4%, fat 0.8%, and lactic acid 0.44%. Okay, you can see its uses. It is used as a starter culture, as a coagulant, as a beverage in summer. This is the flowchart diagram of for Lassi. Now heat desiccated product. First we talk about Koa. Koa is a partially dehydrated whole milk product prepared by continuous heating of milk in cry over direct fire. Okay. In that we continuous stirring is done with the help of using Kunti till, till when the, it reaches semi-solid stage. Okay. After that, it's, the koa should not contain less than 20% of milk fat. Chemical composition of koa, if you talk about the koa of cow milk, it contains 25.6% moisture, 25.7% fat, 19.2% protein, 25.5% lactose, 3.8% as 103 iron. When you talk about the buffalo milk, then it contains 19.2% moisture, fat, 37.1%. Buffalo uh, protein 17.8%, lactose 22.1%, as 3.6%, and iron 10.1%. This is the flowchart diagram. You go through this. Just give once, once you have to give reading, no more nothing. Pera, this is also Koa based Indian sweets. Okay, but it is different from Burfi. Okay, and Pera are generally hard and granular texture in comparison to Burfi. Generally, there are two types of pera, plain pera and brown pera. Just you read that. Now, next. Then there is a manufacture of gulab jamun. This is also popular koa West Indian sweets. Okay. And uh, it is prepared from dry, uh, dry mix available in various plants. Okay. Like other sweets, gulab jamun preparation is largely in the hand of otherwise. So far, PFA has not recommended any standard for gulab jamun. According, okay, according to BIS a specification, the proportion of free syrup in gulab jamun pack shall not exceed 60% of the declared net mass. Okay, then there is a procedure of gulab jamun that you have to give reading. This also rest of making you read once. Preparers of rasgulla. This is also traditional Indian sweet prepared from chena. Okay. This uh, is soft, sweetest ball of chena, soaked in sugar syrup. Again, there is a procedure. Now, there is coagulated milk product. One is chena. That, is, that refers to the milk solid obtained by acid coagulation. Boiled hot whole milk is suspended drainage by whey. The acid in this commonly acid which is used citric acid or lactic acid is used. Okay, now you can see the composition of chena. In cow milk, cow milk chena, moisture is 53.4%, fat is 24.8%, protein is 18.4%, lactose is 2.1%, and acid is 2.1%. Buffalo, moisture is 51.6%, fat is 29.6%, protein is 14.4%, lactose is 2.3%, and acid is 2.0%. This is flow chart diagram. Paneer, this is also indigenous variety. This is also acid coagulated milk solid. Okay. After that, this is a composition. See, in cow milk paneer, moisture 71.2%, total solid 28.8%, and fat 13.5%. 
but in buffet loam it only 71.1 percent moisture 28.9 percent total solid and 13.1 percent fat this is a c procedure for making paneer now when you talk about the frozen dairy product this is what like ice cream ice cream is what frozen dairy product made, made by suitable blending and processing of cream and other milk products together with sugar and flavor in soda okay after that if you talk about the composition types of ice cream, economic ice cream 10% fat snf 10 to 11% sugar 13 to 15% stabilizer 0.30 and total solid 33 to 37% good average ice cream 12% fat 11% snf 15% sugar 0.3% stabilizer and 37.5 to 39% total solid this what is kulfi this is frozen dessert okay now if you talk about this butter then what what is butter this is a fat con a concentrated product obtained by churning cream gathering in fat into a compact mass okay and that is known as butter and its composition butter fat 80.2% moisture 16.3% salt 2.5% curd 2% this is the process. This is a butter fat prepared from the butter or cream. What? Ghee. Okay. See, the, the, I did not explain anything in detail. Just to, I have so, so gone through the uh, composition of different milk product. Okay. Just we, we are going to provide you the PDF, PDF also regarding this. Just once you go, uh, go through it, just read the product, know whether which one is coagulated product, which one is I, I am frozen project. Just this you have to know. And, and so in, in, in some product like Shana, which acid is used in card, which bacteria is used. But just something basics you have to you need to know. More there is nothing important in this topic. Okay. Because this topic was related to milk. So I discussed here. Otherwise, this was there was no need to discuss this topic. Okay. See you in next lecture. In next lecture, we are going to discuss about the various questions of the milk. Thank you.